Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, uh, June 14th. I ain't gonna put my watch on. It is 9.35 in the morning. It's summertime, y'all. So for the ones that are new here, my name is Asia. I am a third grade math and science teacher in Houston. So as you can see by the title of this video, I just wanted to give y'all an update, an end of the year update, especially on my kids' scores. So for their map and their star scores, because um, a couple of videos back, I was talking to y'all about how stressed out I was about their MOI scores. So I was like, I need to go ahead and let the people know what happened for star and EOI. But before I get into all that, y'all, it's time for a workout. I got this new tripod and I'm trying to figure out how to move it, but now I see. Okay. Okay. All right. So just a little, you know, body uh view the last two weeks your girl was all over the place so i just had too much going on it's the end of the year i'm tired y'all tuesday started kicking my butt um if you don't know um uh, tuesdays is my uh Tuesdays is my extra duty day, so I was supposed to be at work at 6.30. That 6.30 started weighing on me. So I would just go home, take a shower, eat, and go to sleep. Like, literally, like the last three Tuesdays of work, I would sleep before 9 o'clock. <laughs> so, y'all, it was, it was crazy. So my workouts just weren't consistent not where they should have been so this week was my first week back um being that it's the first week of summer so today is day five and let's go ahead and get started oh y'all i got this mic yeah you girl getting official now <laughs> so i wanted to test it out today so let's put the Sweat band on. All right, warm up is first. Boy, well, you can definitely tell when you take a break because, boy, everything hurts. Never did that before. See, it knocked off my mic. Did I tell y'all this was a core workout? Abs on fire. Wait a minute. Okay. This is about to be weird. I gotta get in shape. Yo, girl. It's tired. 30 seconds of push ups is crazy. Ah. Oh, 
slow down. Oh! So, I just finished working out. Um, we are going to, well, I'm going to take a shower and then we could talk. All right, y'all, out of the shower. I really don't like this shirt, but I'm not about to go anywhere. Um, we just gonna go uh, get some coffee and go to the bank. And then come back home. So, um, a part of me wants to just be like, leave it. Look, let me show you how big it is. So, see? But it's like, if I kind of do this or I do it in the front. <laughs> Y'all. Okay, wait. Does that make it look better? I think it looks a little better. Anyways, like, like I said, we're not going over. Well, I'm not getting out of the car, so it not really, really don't matter. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about these scores, y'all. So, um, so we know I was stressed out, right, back in February and March about these scores. So, well, that was map scores. So, and I know that I said um, in a video that I was going to do, you know, get my kids on the computer every day so that they're comfortable with the computer when it's time for testing. So, did that work? It did, y'all. My kids came from the worst in the school, had the worst scores in the school, to number two. So third grade math, we had the second best uh, EOY math scores in the school. And I was so like, at first I was like, cause it's like looking at them. Um, So we do like goals, right? And so they put their score of what they did for the beginning of the year, middle of the year. And then it's like, this is your goal. And then you see, and when they finish, they have that EOY score. And it's like a lot of them weren't making their goal. Like they were, they were making growth, but they weren't making goal. And so it's like, so you still didn't make goal. You didn't reach goal. Or even if they did reach goal, it wasn't the score that the district set up saying this is one year's growth. Like this is the score to meet one year's growth. So I was just like. This is, this don't look good. Like, they still didn't do good. And coming, like, I was not nervous at all. Like, you know, some teachers are like, oh, my God, they testing tomorrow, stars tomorrow. You know, like, I, I'm anxious and all this. Like, I didn't feel nothing. Because I told y'all, like, I let it go. So, I wasn't giving it any energy at all. So, going into the test day, I was just like, it's another test. You know, like. Oh, well, it is what it is. I did what I had to do. I did everything I could do. And, you know, I gave it my all. So, it's like, whatever comes from it, comes from it. Y'all, when they came and gave me them scores, I could not read this stuff. The data, I couldn't read it. I was like, all I saw was not me, not me. And I was like, I, I, don't, I don't understand this. And when I went into the PLC room, they had a different data paper up. And it was so much easier to read. But like I said, like I wasn't even focusing on it. So I came into the PLC room and another teacher was like, did you see your scores? And I was like, yeah, but I can't understand it. Like, it don't make sense. And I was like, look at this paper right here. 
And so I go to look at the paper and y'all, big, big green. We made 65th, well, we was in the 65th percentile. So third grade math, me, we did 65th percentile. We made 65th percentile. They was like, I was like, is that good? Like, cause you know, it's like, it's 65. Like it's not, that's still an F in my eyes. So I'm like, is that good? And it was like, anything over 50 is what you want. But if your score, like if your, uh, yeah, if your score is in green or blue, then you did good. And mine was in green. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, I was like so shocked and like I had to, I had to go tell my kids like, I was like, I'm so proud of y'all because y'all really did that. Yeah. Cause the way it was looking was like, mm, this is not going to be good. And I don't know, like I was, I was like, dang, they still didn't do good. You know, like what, what, what did I do? Like I still didn't do it, you know? But ended up doing really good. And I was just like, I was so happy. Y'all, I really was. I was really proud of me. And so, um, like, a lot of the kids um, did meet their, uh, or did make their uh, one year's grow. So, everything was good. Okay, edges. Edges. I forgot to put my mic on. <laughs> but yeah, okay, look at it. Stop playing with me. <laughs> but yeah, so um but yeah, they did they did really, really good. So for star, you know, I taught 33 kids, right? Oh wait, let me go back. So for science, uh the science map. My kids, I think I want to say they did the best in the school because um, at the end of the year, like the last day of school, we did, um, we had an awards like for the teachers and um, they gave out pins um, with our mascot, our school mascot on it. So, you know, we got the pin that go on your shirt and um, for the teachers who show, did good with their data. So from, I guess, I guess all three um, it had to be, it had to be all three, uh, all three testing. So from beginning of the year, middle of the year, end of the year, like all three, you improve with your data. I got one for science. My kids did really good. Like, so after understanding how to read the math data, I was able to, under, to read the science data a lot better. And from beginning to the end, they did nothing but grow. Like everybody grew, and I. That's why I got the pen for science. So, yep, I got an award. <laughs> so next year, I'm coming for math too. I, I need, I need two, I need two awards um, for next year. But yeah, so now going to star, I had thirty. You know, I taught thirty three kids. Um, really taught more than that, but a lot of kids, uh, you know, we lost kids, then we got kids and things like that. But 33 kids tested for STAR and I had 19 pass. And I think that's really good for my first year. Um, I was like, that's a good number and uh, there's more than half. And so I was like, that's good. So I had 14 kids that did not meet. Um, everybody else either had approaches, um, meets, and I didn't have any masters. Um, but yeah, so approaches or meets, and then um, if, well, the 14 did not meet. So I had 19 kids pass. And at first I was like, is approaches good? Because I don't really know. And um, the teachers was like, yeah, we take approaches. But of course, like admin don't like the approaches, but... They pass. So that's all that matters. And then I had a couple teachers tell me, you know, my number's really good with this being my first year. So overall, y'all, I am happy. I'm excited that I did um, decide to go into a testing grade level. And um, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm proud of myself. I did really good. Um, because like, you know, it was it's de it definitely had its ups and downs. And especially with the new curriculum and the kids not knowing the curriculum and everything like that. Everything just being new. And it was new everywhere around for me. I mean, of course, teaching wasn't new, but the grade level was new. The testing was new. Everything, the curriculum, all that. So, I think I did really good. And I have been very proud of myself. Um, yeah. So, I had a really good first testing great little year <laughs> but yeah so i know i'm gonna have a lot of questions about next year so i'm gonna go ahead and tell you now there's not gonna be a separate video unless something changes during the summer but as of as of right now uh june 14th i know i know that i am going to be te uh teaching third grade math science the only thing that's different is now they took away um this course that was called art of thinking um because we don't have enough students so some campuses still might have an art of thinking teacher well, they didn't take away the course they took away the teacher so uh, we don't have enough students to have an actual art of thinking class so they're putting it into the reading class and my principal, I don't know if it's my principal or the district, but somebody thought that it would be um, more fair if we would split a class, basically. So I basically, I, I'm thinking I have my homeroom for art of thinking. Or is it? No, no, no. Take that back. I have my own room for SOR. So the reading teacher is teaching reading art of thinking and sor i'm teaching math science and sor so we're going to split a sor group so i'm teaching my homeroom sor now teaching so on the report card it's going to say me i'm their sor teacher i'm actually not going to be the one teaching but they took away our extra hour you know i said well we had two hours uh, playing it in the beginning so we only have one hour and then the second hour i will be pushing in to my partner teacher's room while she's teaching science of reading and i'm assuming that it's going to be my home room um so of course she's the reading teacher so i'm taking leave from her um directions from her whatever you need me to do I'm going to take a group, you know, and I work with these groups or whatever she needs me to do. We'll talk about that later. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, so I'm back to one hour of teaching, uh, one hour of planning next year. That's the only thing. I'm not switching my rooms. Um, Y'all, I'm not changing. Y'all know how I do with my uh, setting up my classroom. I do the same design two years in a row, so... I'm not changing my design this year. I left mainly everything up on my in my classroom because I'm not changing anything. And it took me so long to put that stuff up like um last year. Like it took me a long time. And with me, you know, being fresh in um from surgery, it was definitely a struggle. So yeah, we're not doing it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have the same um setup for next year so i don't know how classroom setup is gonna look right now but um i mean things can change and of course i'm gonna let you know but that is all the update that i have for the school year so my fifth year is now in the books and i did really good i'm proud of myself i earned every dollar of that salary that i got but yeah, so uh, I'm going to take y'all with me and we're going to go try some new coffee, y'all. I tried um, Black Rock Coffee Bar yesterday and that was really good. So this is one more coffee that I want to, coffee spot that I want to try. It's called Dutch Bros. Um, I want to try them because, y'all, I'm starting to think Starbucks is just like, y'all know my love for Starbucks, but... I think it's better quality coffee out there and probably for cheaper because 
Black Rock. Black Rock, I got, I got basically the same coffee that I always get from Starbucks. And I got a breakfast burrito and it tastes better. They have like their burritos are better than Starbucks um, breakfast options. And I had a lot of their breakfast options. And I had those two things for $10. And it was a, a nice size coffee. Like I'm not getting no small, y'all. So um, yeah, and then at Starbucks is usually 12 something. So cheaper. And it was good too. So I'm gonna try uh Dutch Bros. That's where we're about to go. And then I'ma see who I'ma start, you know, who I'ma start rocking with because I just think it's better, it's just better quality. Starbucks been slipping a lot lately over here in my area. They ain't been making my coffee right. They been taking too long and I'm fed up. So let's go try Dutch Bros. All right, y'all, I got it. Let's try it and rate it from one to 10. <laughs> no, but for real, okay, let's try it. Um, so this is the Golden Eagle. Um, I think it was, I forgot what he said. It was like caramel. I want to say he said white mocha. <laughs> Hint, I like white mocha and caramel. Like, so they did put caramel on the cup. It's going to the bottom now. And I got whipped cream on top and um, almond milk. I know it's contradictory, but I love whipped cream. So, all right, let's try Okay, it's good, and it's a nice size. The only thing I would do is like either more whipped cream or I need. Don't be blowing at me. I'm take my time now. Um, more whipped cream or um, I need a cold foam. So, but yeah, all right. Okay, y'all. So I just left the bank. This is how much I've drank, and as time goes on, it's not all that good. So, me, in my opinion, Black Rock Coffee wins, and, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Black, co <laughs> Black Rock Coffee wins. Dutch Bros, nah. Um, I don't know, it just don't. Because, like, yesterday, I got Black Rock coffee before I went and got my hair done. And I left the coffee in the car. And I was in there for almost three hours. And when I got back in the car, it still tastes good. And it's only been, like, an hour and a half. And it's, it's, it's not all that. Oh, and, two, Black Rock coffee, I didn't even get caramel drizzle. So, yeah, I think, um black co black rock coffee it tastes better than dutch bros and it's cheaper than starbucks so i might have a new coffee spot y'all know starbucks has my heart but sometimes we gotta we gotta change for the better so that's where we at but yeah so now i am on my way back home I will pick y'all back up when I get there. All right, y'all. So, I am back home. One of the other stops I had to make was going to get some shirts that I got airbrushed. Well, a shirt that I got airbrushed. I was only supposed to get one, but it was a lot of different... Well, it was like some complications and stuff like that. So, basically, I have two shirts um they're different shirts right they're the same style one is small and one is bigger and they say the same thing like it's the same design on it so what did i go get the shirts for i'm going to meg the stallion and glow rilla's concert tonight here in houston so i got the shirt let me show you. All right, so here is the first one. This was the second shirt, the second option. So, real high girl. Yeah, 
So we ripping Megs tonight. So I have this one and I have this one. So you see they the same style. Like it's the um how's the top? But one is bigger than the other. And I don't know which one I wanna wear. So whenever it's time for me to get dressed, I'ma show y'all and we're gonna see which one we wanna wear. But it's the same exact design he did really good i like them both i don't know which one i want to wear all right y'all so time kind of escaped from me i was talking on the phone and okay and it looks better and i had to hurry up and get dressed shout out to not having to do my hair only my edges and look at that that one already curling up because for some reason it got hot in my house and let me turn the air down I was like, dang, I know I wasn't tripping. But okay, let me turn the camera around so you can see the fit. You already see the accessories. I went throwback, okay? So, let's see. All right, y'all, so here we are. And I chose the bigger shirt, it looks better. The other one was just too small, so it kind of all worked out the way it was supposed to. And I love these boots, they so cute. But yeah, so this is the fit for today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bring a purse just because they be tripping about size and everything like that. So yeah, this is what we're working with.